Hello guys, good morning. So today we are going to configure uh, our web server so that we can be able to host our ASP.NET Core API that we've been uh, having a tutorial for the pre for the past week. So you can check my YouTube channel to check it. Now I have a pre server. This is Windows 2019 server. So this data center is in Singapore. So today, uh, this is a free server that I request and then there is no IIS is installed yet. So I am showing you how to configure here the IIS management server. So let's start from the server manager here. This is Windows Server 2019. So we need to add rules and then we have just to click here and click next and then uh, next. So we have to choose this IIS. So add feature that required in the server IIS. So add features and then features we're going to select i think that's not that's enough uh we'll click next oh why well, we need to select futures that need for that need for your i think we need to select this that needs seven i need to install that need core so I think now it should be better to use the mouse background. So I just try it. How about here? What I think is that the most important one. Right, so web server default documents, TP, help the admin stick performance. Security, basic authentication, SSL certificate, uh, URL, Windows authentication, uh, basic authentication. Anyway, we can go back here if we need to add some role services that we need to install. So, most important here is that we can have installed the IIS. What is this way? I use metadata. Okay, just click next. Okay, that net framework for seven with server ones. So I think I can install that uh, net core framework here. So we go to install. So guys, it's now installing. And close these wizards without interrupting running tasks. Okay, so we'll just wait for the installation to be done. So this is Windows Server 2019 and the data center is in Hong Kong. We are remoting it. We are from Philippines. I am here in the Philippines, so I'm connecting it to RDP. Remote desktop folder. Remote desktop protocol. So while waiting, uh, okay, I think I will post this video first while waiting. Uh, this is a lot of windows here. So now installation succeeded. So we should have the IIS now. And we'll go up here. Windows administrative. So we have IIS now. We'll click it. Okay, so yeah, here we have the 
Okay, I is now. This is the site. Okay, so you have the default website now. If you can see it, oh, there's no binding here. Modules. So, I think we need to install some module for .NET Core because there's no module here for .NET Core. Uh, the modules are just very basic. I don't know why. So, here application fall. Default fall. Okay. So, it's a default website here. For example, this one. You can take a look and browse. So, that is localhost. So, our server is now functioning well. So, we just need to add some uh, configuration for that .NET Core app later. So, that's for now. So, this is basically how you install or configure the IIE server in a first Windows Server 2000 pre-installation. And after that, you can actually host your, for example, you create a new application or your website, for example, this site, and then, yeah, the path. So, for example, your path in, it's like if you host some website. So, you go for INX, this is, this is the basic available your folder if you're hosting on your website. I say, for example, this site like that. Okay, so just press it there. Uh, and then, okay. So, when you have to browse this, this is your website. Okay. So, you have here. But of course, there's no file store. So, forbidden. If we put an index or by default, we put here, we'll create here. In it file, www root, and this side, so we just have to tap this, uh, put it here. Uh, of course, we have to rename it. Name it as default. That's HTML. Alright, so let's take a look if it will be hosted. But before that, we need to uh, restart this website. You can... Why there's no restart here? How can I start the application for the I need to start? So, um, start. Oh, that was a new operation service. Oh my god. It's a problem here. Okay, started now. So, when we are going to browse here, we should have that page. Oh! Default document is not configured to the okay, so see, so that's it. So we're able to host our website. So we just need to package our website or to connect the server, and it can help it. So that's for now, guys. So this is a little or a short uh, demonstration on how you configure your IIS in a Windows 2000 server. So in the next video, I maybe I will also uh, the, install the .NET Core. So that's our goal, but it's too late now. Then I need to take a lunch. So hope you're learning, guys, and happy uh, happy viewing. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be updated for the next episode i mean next tutorial next demonstration that we have okay comment and like and bye bye